Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm giving you my review of the Bolt Stone 1000. This was long overdue and I just couldn't get myself to buy this peak for some strange reason. But let me just tell you in short, the Bolt Stone 1000 absolutely blew my mind. It was so satisfying to do this review because it just sounds so, so good. So before I tell you more about the sound, very quickly for new buyers out there who have not done their research on this peak, let me tell you that it's quite a big speaker. It's not ultra portable. It's got a rugged build, maybe not as rugged as the Bolt Stone 700, but definitely this can take a beating. It's got a 14 watt RMS speaker. So it's got two driver units in the front. So seven watts each, total 14 watts of raw sheer power. At the back, you have your passive bass radiator and it's one of the best bass radiators in a Bluetooth speaker that I've reviewed thus far. One of the best. It's got a 3000 milliamp battery inside. So Bolt claims that it gives you eight hours of continuous playback, but that is not at 100% volume. At maybe 70 to 80% volume, you could get over six to seven hours of continuous playback. You wouldn't want to take this to 100% volume. It's really loud. All right, so it's also got the IPX5 water and dust resistance. So you've got your minor splashes and maybe a bit of drizzle here and there on the speaker will not do any harm. So that's about it. Physically, it's a chunky speaker. On the side, it's got your controls, very, very clicky buttons. I mean, you need to really apply a good bit of pressure to make those work, but it feels really chunky and good. Very tactile, feel good feedback. Charging this takes about four hours as per Bolt's claim, and uh, it's true. You can use a fast charger, but it's best not to use a fast charger because it could in the long term harm the battery. But that's enough with the specs and the physical appearance. Let's talk about the sound. So 14 watts, maybe above average for a Bluetooth speaker, but nothing great. You've got speakers from Sony, which pack 30 and 40 watts of RMS. And those are great speakers. So I wasn't expecting much from the Bolt Stone 1000 because on the package, any company would claim that they have monstrous bass and huge sound, this and that, but those are just marketing gimmicks or so I thought. So after opening this, I played some tracks, some of my favorite tracks, which are quite bass heavy, as well as kind of go through all the spectrums of the bass, the mids and the highs. And my first reaction was, wow. I was so impressed from the first music and song that I played from the speaker. The first thing that hits you is the sheer clarity of the speaker. The vocals and the instruments are very, very crispy and sharp. The mids and highs have nice separation. Every instrument is absolutely clear. Vocals are very, very nice and pronounced. And then there is the bass. So this has at its back a passive bass radiator and that does really, really good justice to the sheer power and size of the speaker. When the bass dropped and when I heard it, it was by far one of my most satisfying experiences in terms of a bass produced by a portable Bluetooth speaker. The bass is thick, the bass is punchy, it's undistorted and it's just so satisfying to hear. Any track you play which has got good bass, this speaker does justice. Compared to other Bluetooth speakers which I have heard, they definitely pack a punch and they have bass but to have a bass that really that resonates through the surface that you place your speaker on that you can feel i was so astonished by the bass produced by the Bolt stone 1000 so Bolt's claim of having monstrous bass is justified i definitely definitely agree that 
It's by far one of my favorite bass heavy Bluetooth speakers that I have ever reviewed. And it definitely stacks up against some of the big boys out there. So if you don't want to miss any of those comparisons, there are many comparison videos coming up where I'm comparing the both Stone 1000 with a number of very popular speakers and big speakers as well. So if you don't want to miss that, do subscribe today and hit the bell icon so that you do not miss that upload. I do one thing where I uh, watch YouTube videos and I like the sound to come from a Bluetooth speaker because it's much better than listening to them directly from the phone where it's just flat and sounds well, very bad. I did the same with the Bose Stone 1000 and wow, you wouldn't even realize that there was so much bass in a video. I mean, watching music videos on your phone and having the sound play through the Bose Stone 1000 is such a treat. There is no lag, there is no delay between the video and the sound that's coming out. It's completely in sync and it sounds so good. The bass. The mids, the highs, everything sounds so good and the loudness is wow, really loud and very, very less times in the number of times I've played this did I actually play it at 100% volume. It gets really loud. So 80% is good enough for me at least. One thing that I've noticed while playing videos where it's not a music video where I'm just watching maybe a review of some product or I'm watching an episode or an interview and relaying the sound through these speakers is that the vocals are very crisp, very, very crisp. Obviously that also depends on how good the quality of the vocals are in the actual video, but how this speaker, I mean, produces that vocal is very crisp and sharp. Maybe at times too sharp where it could take away a bit of the natural bass that a voice or uh, uh, vocals have. But I think that comes down to absolute personal preference, but just something to keep in mind. But it makes up for all of that with that thick, juicy bass and the sheer power of the speaker. For a medium to a large size room as well, this speaker does justice. But that's enough said. If you have any more questions, do let me know in the comments below. Like I said, a number of comparison videos are coming up. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you do not miss those videos. I got this for 2299 so around 2300 bucks. It was on offer on Amazon. Usually it goes for around 2999 so 3000 bucks. So let me just give you my verdict guys, even if you get it for 2999 or anything less is a steal, get this speaker. It's definitely got my seal of buy with confidence because for 3000 bucks, it's really, really good. Links to this are in the description below. You can buy it straight from there. It will take you to Amazon and give you the latest pricing. Just one side note which I will say before we go into the sound test. At maximum volume, when you're playing at 100% from your phone and the speaker, there are or there have been minor instances where the highs would start to give a bit of distortion, but maybe out of 10 tracks, two or three would do that. So that's not even a majority. But just something to keep in mind that first of all, like I said, you don't need to play it at 100% because it's so loud. But if you do, uh, there could be at times that there could be a bit of a rattling or tingling sound at max volume only with the high frequencies. But nothing at all to, you know, really put you off from getting this speaker. That's my review. Now I will leave you with some great tracks Listen to this straight from the speaker, form your judgment, and I hope you enjoy it.